hello everyone in the previous video we created our collection uh, collection name and here we need to create our request so let's click on this add request and it's a get request so you can change this name so i'm naming this uh, get all so you can name whatever you want so it will assign to this one okay so what is the next step so you need to go to the documentation which is our step two we already did our first step so let's copy this one go back and here you need to uh, type uh, like you need to import this so let me go there type this raw text and enter it here and click on this continue and it will pass the exactly parameters which are required for us so we need to just fill up the parameters and it says error format so let me go back what's i'm going doing it wrong so let me go to the raw text so it's raw text i'm doing this not wrong it's correct so why it's throwing this error so let me fix this issue okay so it's uh, not allowing us paste as uh, raw text so i'm going to use this in the get all so let's go here and click on this get all and here we are going to use this get request so let's uh, paste your all of the stuff so i copied this from here and paste it here and yes it's automatically set our parameters like scope client id and uh, stuff like that which we need to, to use uh, to get the token right so it's a grant token not access token so it's the second step so here you need to type your scope so what is scope scope is basically defining a module that which module we want to access so here there is uh, there are there is a scope which is access dot full dot all so you can get all the zoho subscription module right so basically subscription is a main module and in the subscription there are a lot of modules like plans customers and stuff like that so we are going to not going to enter the manual things like we are going to first let me show you let's go to the plans and click on this create plan so here we are not going to use this uh, zoho subscription dot plan dot create plan dot read so we are going to use this only once so we are going to create this for full module so let's go here and copy this from there so it's a zoho subscription dot full access dot all so you need to hit uh, type here and then you need to enter your client id so let me copy this client id from my this application so it's this one i copied this and here you need to type state so it's a testing and then response type would be code it's a good and then here you need to type your redirect uri so remember that this redirect uri should be matched with this one otherwise it will not going to work it will throw us that your redirect uri is not valid and access type is offline so you can also enter the online but uh, offline is uh, good so you can uh, read about these parameters that what to, they will do right so you can uh, uh, give it a read from there so here you can type that offline and online so basically these are the access token type so our url is now prepared so now the time is to use this in our web browser so why i am going to the web browser so let's go here and read this so generating a grant token execute from web browser not from api client so that's why i'm going to uh, not going to enter this here so i'm going to the web browser and enter this here so hit enter so it will redirect you on the local host 8000 so first it's going to uh, tell us that uh, oh it's uh, so it's asking me to sign in so let me go to my another uh, this console so i'm going to use this in this uh, web browser because i'm logged in in this uh, in this browser so now it's only uh, uh, only uh, asking me to accept or reject so i'm going to access to retrieve create and update the subscription so let's click on this accept so it will redirect on us the localhost 8000 with the code right so what is the code so code is this one so you need to copy this code from there 
and uh, here you need this is our complete code so remember that you don't need to copy this one because this is using this liquidation so copy this from two okay and what is the next step so next step you need to uh, create a new request here so i'm going to create a new request so it's a uh, i'm naming this so uh, refresh token right save this one and uh, here you need this uh, code right so let me save this code uh, somewhere else and i will use this later so you can uh, remember that you can use this code only once for sending one request otherwise you need to generate it again okay so go here and uh, let's go to the next step here you need to you can api postman generate an access token and refresh token so you can uh, by using this code you can generate the access token so let's go here and here you need to type these entries right so i'm not going to type this one i'm going to uh, copy this stuff and enter this through this uh, curl so now it's going to work for us so here go here and uh, click on this uh, import click on this raw and click on this continue and now this is uh, ready so it's uh, entered this uh, token address this one and it's it will pass these parameters to this one so click on this import and yes it's imported these parameters so let me show you that where are these parameters so yes it's passed them into the X form URL encoded. So the value is code, client ID is this, client secret is this, and stuff like that. So now we need to manually fill these credentials. So let me check the video size, it's not going bigger. So here I'm going to pass the code. Which code? So which we got this from our this one, right? So it's redirect us on the localhost 8000 and we got this code. So here you need to use their client ID. So where is the client ID? So client ID exists in our this console. So let me get the client ID and client secret from there. So it's this one. So copy the client secret. So you can create your own clients. So don't copy my one. Okay, so I'm going to copy the redirect url from there okay url is this one and then authorization code you don't need to manipulate this one okay so now our this one is ready and it's already set to post so you need to send this a post request so it will uh, return us uh, access token and refresh token so uh, i'm checking that it will return us so it's where you can give it a read from this one access token and refresh token so it will return us access and refresh token so let's uh, enter this uh, on send and wait for a moment and yes 200 response and it says invalid code why it's throwing this invalid because this code is valid for only 59 seconds so it's mentioned on the documentation so let me go to the go to the previous url this one is a get url so and generate the code again so how you can generate the code so let's go here and here you need to type this again and then it will redirect us on the localhost 8000 with the code right so it's redirecting us on the page and it's not to ex uh, asking us to uh, accept or reject because we already accept this so copy this one go to the client and here we need to click on this refresh token and click on this body next url form no not this one where is uh, our request so let me go to and yes it's this one so here you need to type your token not token it's a code okay and click on this send and it will going to return as access token and refresh token yes it's returned us successfully so you need to copy this one so remember this refresh token is generated only once so you need to make this uh, to save someone uh, somewhere else right so where you will never lose this otherwise you need to recreate your app in the zoho and then get this refresh token so in the next video, we are going to generate the access token from this refresh token. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.